I can't, like the joy, the <laughs> so joy excited. about this book. I got How Should a Person Be <gasps> by Sheila yes, Hetty. Finally. S- exactly. <laughs> I knew that you would know. That book's hard to find. It's hard to find. <laughs> here's, here's the situation with this book, okay? So years ago, many years ago, I read Motherhood by Sheila Hetty. Loved it. Absolutely obsessed with it. And then I was like, I'd like to read another book by her. What else has she written? Mm. And this is her debut. This is the book that kind of put her on the scene. But Motherhood is definitely the book that blew her up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, this is her McGlue. <laughs> Motherhood is her my year of rest there and relaxation go. slash Eileen. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if this book is just like not in print anymore or just really low in print or what. But yeah. I have continually attempted to buy this book and it always fails yeah. somehow like the order online didn't go through i bought it through a bookshop and then they were like cool your order's been submitted and then three weeks later they were like just wanted to let you know this order wasn't we can't oh, fulfill it no. i'm like okay bought it at another bookshop just never heard back from that bookshop yes. never heard back from them so i was like what is with this book i don't understand <laughs> i kind of i was like you know what I'm, I'm i'm taking a break from trying to get this book and also like sheila hetty is canadian I, you would have you would think that it'd be easier yeah, to get in Canada. True. So I was at the grocery store a few weeks ago and I, um, was, you know, me and Connor decided, we've decided to really get into meal prep. So I was <laughs> there for quinoa and quinoa only. <laughs> um, but this is the, the grocery store. I think I've mentioned to you before. They have a little rack oh, yeah. where it's just like used books. Mm-hmm. I think anybody can place a book there. And then they have like a little lock box. And it just says like, if you take a book, please give us a dollar. Hmm. So I always like to look at it on my way out. I'm leaving and this thing is staring me in the <gasps> face. And I literally <sighs> freaked out i was like oh and connor was like what what and i was like i ran over and i like grabbed it and i was like hallelujah the new Put ten dollars in the lock box I, well but what's funny is i didn't have any change on oh, no. me and i was like i was like okay connor here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it there was no way i was not taking yeah, it okay obviously. i was like i'm gonna take it and i'm just gonna come back I'll come back like the next time yeah. and I'll drop an extra dollar in there or something. And Connor just looked at me like side eyed me. <laughs> he was like, I don't think you can do that. And I was like, like, it's a complete honor system, yeah. right? <laughs> like, it's, I want. A, it's a small grocery store in a small town with a random rack for I don't know what charity it yeah. is. So I'm just like, nobody will know. But I'm like, no, you know what? That's a little shady. I go in my wallet. I had a $5 bill. And I was yeah. like, this moment and this book is well worth $5. Totally. Thank you to this charity. I drop my $5 <laughs> bill in there and I walk out the happiest woman you've ever seen. I'm like, wow. What's crazier? Mm-hmm. Okay. Really crazy. <laughs> so I get home. I'm like, I can't even explain how chuffed I was. I get home. I start flipping through. And I see oh it's signed. What? Sheila Hetty has signed what? this copy. <laughs> How did this happen? I have absolutely no idea. This is I have absolutely no idea how it ended up in my grocery store, signed by the author. That's wild. Do you know where she's from? Toronto. Okay. She's a Toronto lady. Hmm. So, and this is also, just to add to the confusion, this is a British edition. Yeah, I was wondering that. I was like, that doesn't look like our type no. of book so this is um a british edition signed by the toronto author i found in a grocery store in nova That's scotia insane. make it make sense somebody, i love it please i love it the the moral of the story though is that i was so excited it just felt like the biggest victory uh, ever yeah no kidding you don't need to buy a book ever again with that kind of <laughs> <laughs> um